Hello everyone, today I'm be showing you how to earn trading cards on Steam. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, a comment for the algorithm, and don't subscribe. So earning, earning trading cards is, for the most part, pretty simple. So most games, uh, you'll earn about half of them through just playing it. So as you can see, if you just look through everything, this is the, you know, free, spent no money, four of seven for Elden Ring, three of six for God of War, five of ten, three of six, three of six, so on and so forth. Most of them, you're going to get about half from just playing the actual game. Uh, so, and as you can see here, it says no card drops remaining for any of these games. So that means I'm not going to get any more cards for just playing these games. Well, where am I going to go to get the remaining cards? Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. Not so tricky, but this is where the interesting part comes in. Uh, you just go to search the market, and sometimes they'll pop up for me. Uh, there they go. Okay, so... You'd go here and you'd go to buy, and then you buy the cards you're missing. And then you can continue buying the cards you're missing, uh, right? So I'll buy that one of Ray, or Raya, you know, you know. And then this one, the Caravan, I'd go to search the market and buy the Caravan. Or the Lost Side of Grace, uh, I would go to search the market and buy the one I'm missing. That way, I can complete the set and craft a new badge. But that's how trading cards work. You earn them, about half of them most of the time through playing games, and then you buy the rest in the Steam market. Or you can trade them, you don't have to buy them, you could trade them with other people, maybe someone that has it. So, see, my friends have this, I could offer a trade here and offer one of my cards uh, for one of theirs, and that way I could, I could also complete the set. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, a comment for the algorithm, and don't subscribe.